But I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do. So you also know what we're gonna do more specifically, I guess. Uh, yes. Yes, very nice. But yeah, hi my magpie. Welcome to uh, me and my intern just chilling. I have a plan, so we are gonna try to do that plan. And the plan is to cut a piano, like this piano. We do like this instead. Okay. I bring the piano, yes? Yeah, sure. Very nice. Okay, very nice. Take this side. And put it like that, like just the wooden side. So I have like a tiny, just a bit more than one octave piano. Reason for that idea is because that piano, which is my main piano, I play that piano in all of my music. So I want piano where I can do silly experiments to record sounds for the music. But I can't fit a second piano in here. But if I have a tiny baby piano, <laughs> then it can actually be in this room. And I can do like prepared piano type stuff with that. And we're just gonna take a, a big, big saw. And we're yeah. gonna... <laughs> we'll see what's happening. First though, I need to get rid of... Uh... You see there are two screws there. Yes. Three, actually. And three screws. Here. This is pretty cozy now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're stronger than me. Well, I don't know, but I can try. <laughs> yeah. We switch. Oh, yeah, not... Brand new way of playing the piano. <laughs> we don't need to show your face, but we can just compare hands. Put out. <laughs> so now this weak hand doesn't do it. We have to do anything anymore because we got the, the really. <laughs> ah, no! It's not... It should just come out. Yes? No? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Come on, man! Whoa! Alright. Oh! Let's get rid of uh, this one first. I want to get rid of all of these and here's where we're gonna cut so we're only gonna save these is what I'm thinking the reason we are saving as much of the ends of the strings as possible and not just cutting them straight off is because I don't know which strings I want to use on the piano that we're gonna keep so I just want even though these are, they're a bit longer than uh, than those are. It's been nice to have the ends at least on one of the sides. Yeah. I mean, when we do that. Because imagine, imagine doing like the thickest one. Because these are just turnarounds. Like everyone except this one, if you come close. That's kind of weird that that's the only one that is fastened there. The rest are just turning around. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. This is a conspiracy. Very beautiful. Nice. Very surrealistic looking. High five? High five. Oh. Good job, man.
still stupid heavy, but at least it's movable. Let's get a better angle actually before I do anything. So cute though! <laughs> I'm, re I'm really happy with this. Um, I've already been. Oh, I've already been experimenting a bunch with it, and that what just happened sort of proved my point. Like I really feel like I don't have to care what happens. It makes me very very happy because that opens up my mind. Because of a, like a, an original piano. Just purely the size is sort of overwhelming. Like actually going in with something like this or trying experiments feels like taking a huge risk. Feels like the biggest risk has already been taken. So now whatever I do, it's not a risk anymore. It's just fun. So I've already been recording it uh, for a couple of days on a, on a bunch of songs, but I figured today we're gonna start something new and silly and just have fun! Oh, you can make it sound so blue! Well, yeah, I need to start something before we do anything. That was very kind of out of tune. I don't care. Do you care? Let me know if you care. In the comments. <laughs> That's spectacular. Let's have it moving around. A second take? <laughs> yes? Like, check this out. This is my new favorite. I think the sum of its parts, maybe that's how you translate that, is that I am satisfied with this. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tiny music making session just to show that it actually still makes sounds. So that's nice. I hope you had fun. I had fun. Thank you for joining me on this journey that we all like to call. You fill in that one, please. Uh, but there are a bunch of links in the description to podcasts that I have and to pedals that I make. MagpiePedals.com, soon to be releasing my first synthesizer also, if we can call it that. Uh, merch and Patreon, I have together with Analog Weapon, who I run the podcast with. We only want to cover the cost of uploading the, the podcast, but thank you regardless. And I will see you. I promise.